What exactly is salmonellosis? Well, uh, essentially salmonellosis can be thought of as an infection with uh, salmonella bacteria. Uh, the short answer for this is it is essentially a uh, food poisoning. So think of it as food poisoning. So, how is salmonellosis uh, transmitted? Well, you have uh, salmonella bacteria right here, and it can be found in uh, food such as uh, raw poultry, eggs, beef, and occasionally even uh, unwashed fruit. So you have the salmonella bacteria that, that happens to get into this, this type of food, right? Okay. So uh, we have, for example, uh, unsanitary conditions or uh, uncooked food. Well, the good news about salmonella bacteria is that it is not very good at uh, resisting heat, uh, with the exception of peanut butter, of course. So if we give it a lot of heat, it uh, can't handle that. In other words, if you take care of your food properly, uh, we won't have problems with uh, salmonella bacteria. The uh, signs and symptoms are uh, diarrhea, fever, and uh, abdominal cramps. Usually they'll occur anywhere from 12 to 72 hours after infection, and uh, typically they last uh, anywhere from uh, 4 to 7 days. And, uh, in some cases, the diarrhea can become so bad uh, and so draining that uh, the patient is forced to go to the hospital. Now, uh, the danger is that the infection uh, may spread uh, from the intestines into the bloodstream and then it goes to other parts of the body and that can lead to death unless uh, the person is treated uh, promptly with uh, antibiotics. So, how do you go about uh, diagnosing uh, salmonellaosis? Uh, well, the first way, you can, uh, the most common way is the uh, facial or the uh, stool sample. You can also try uh, blood samples or even uh, other samples uh, such as uh, tissues. And what they'll do is they'll take those samples and they'll stick them in either a nutrient broth or an agar. Over there they will be incubated for a period of uh, two to three days and then a uh, trained uh, microbiologist will test those for uh, biochemical reactions. Now when we look at uh, treatment, the uh, good news is that uh, the illness typically lasts for four to seven days and most people recover without even needing any treatment. For the uh, severe cases, uh, antibiotics can be used to uh, try to combat and counteract it. Uh, the more simpler cases is to just try to drink uh, plenty of fluids. Uh, what you don't want to do is you don't want to get uh, dehydrated from the uh, diarrhea problems. And also uh, consider taking anti-diarrhea uh, medication. Another way uh, you can improve your chances is to eat bland food, uh, avoid uh, salty stuff, so stay away from the salts, also stay away from uh, spicy food. And uh, you may also want to consider uh, using a heating pad if you feel cramps, uh, use a heating pad or some type of heat uh, for that area. And as always, if you're unsure, uh, try consulting with a doctor. That essentially is an overview of uh, salmonellosis. Thank you for watching.